Hi, this is BB. Um, so, for the past few days, it's been, she's been really pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Now, today, she's telling me that they're going to throw acid in my face. I said, okay, why don't they just get a big vat of it? Before she does that, two things. Kill me. So I don't have to go through this torture. Or just dunk me in the vat of acid instead of just throwing it in my face and just kill me. So, you know, that, that way she can kill two birds with one stone. First of all, she don't have to spend her time fucking with me. She can go her way in peace. Uh, whatever, whatever the end result is, whatever the end goal of all of this is, she'll get it instantly. She'll cash in whatever the fuck she's trying to do. I don't know. But she will have sped up the end goal or the end result for she and her boyfriend. They will be like two pigs or two hogs in shit. You know, as much as hog loves shit because they like to roll around in shit. So, I mean, she tells, she, she tells me I'm shit all the time. So she's coming, hanging around me in the rafters, whatever the fuck she's doing. And she must like shit then. Because if you think someone is shit and you want to hang around them and spend time around them, what can you say? But anyway, to the doctor, the, 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 the spots all over. There's a spot right at the back of my head here, a soft spot. I can feel it right now. And I told her, I brought it to the doctor's attention. The doctor looked at it and she said, I have seem to have a mole there. I didn't see anything, but I don't think it's a mole. I think it's something else. I just don't know what it is. I just hope that it's not some kind of skin cancer or something from all these, this radiation. Because it hurts right there. Right there. I mean, what are the odds that the very spot where this mole is, that I would, it would be soft right there? What are the odds? Feels like it's cracking open there. And if I'm on a plane, I've noticed that this here, I, when I flew from Vegas to Oklahoma, I thought my head, was skull was gonna crack open. I thought my eyeball was gonna pop. I'm like thinking, what are these people gonna do if my eyeball pops? You know, cause it'll be embarrassing for, this is my first thought. And what are they gonna do? You know, cause it looks, so weird sorry it's gonna look so weird but I don't know what else to think anymore so we have the acid going and lately I've been feeling like I just want to pick up my cat and go in like a forest area or a jungle area or some bushes and live there just to stop this but I, I don't know if it's because I, my money is not where it should be, anywhere where it should be. I'm having to split bills, which I haven't had to do in a long time. Like, the money isn't coming because my ads are getting worse and worse and worse. It's not doing well right now. I even get, I got click -sees, and click -sees are finding fraudulent campaigns. I advertise within the U.S. and or maybe Canada maximum, maximum. I have two active campaigns within my ad account. One does include Canada, the other one doesn't. They're coming from Nigeria, Jamaica, Bahamas. They're coming from different places. That ain't me. That's someone definitely targeting me. Because if they're not supposed to show, I mean, if you show it like once in a while in a different hemisphere, a different uh, uh, region, but so many? No, 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 no. Something is wrong. And most of them are coming now shielded. And most of them is like, the first day that it came up, the truth was coming out. We had places like uh, uh, Sweden or Netherlands, and these were all IP trading companies they were coming from. I don't know what they've done. They put me on some, I don't know what they've done. But they, they, their goal is to mess me up as much as possible. The woman and her boyfriend are definitely into something very, very big, and they've done some very evil things. This is not just about those stamps. You guys are right. This is not just about those stamps. Because something is wrong here. Nobody steals stamps 
tell them and then come and loiter around and dig the victim, dig at the victim, poke at the victim, dig at the victim to make the victim realize it. To see, unless she's doing that, to see how many people, uh, what are people going to do when I say these things. So they want to feel they got away with them. Well, they already have because they've got a fortress around themselves. Nobody can touch them. They've got a fortress. They've got hackers. They're paying hackers worldwide to, to, to build a fortress around the two of them to keep them safe. They've got plenty of money, plenty of bling to pay people. But she, this one woman, like she, she needs to bring me down because I'm the direct ear to what it, what they stole. But not, aside from that, my parents' ID are missing as well. So I don't know if they're planning to reinvent themselves as my parents or what they're planning to do. I don't know. Or to plant things to make us all look like we were a bunch of family of terrorism or child molesters or rapists or. Uh, Shady people, I don't know. But the people who knew us, including neighbors and friends, are going to disagree with that. Quiet people. When I say quiet, we were quiet. What her evil intentions are, but pff, take your pick. It could be with them. It could be anything. Like anything. And, yeah, like the new one is I need to, they'll throw acid in my face. That's fine. I would prefer for them to just come and kill me and get it over with. I cannot stand this torture anymore. Things that I was hearing, right? She, somebody in 2018, I used to talk to psychics. Now again, y'all may knock psychics, take it or leave it. They have their place in the universe. They have a gift. Take it or leave it. They exist. Some of them are... are, are some of them are not. Some of them are really, really good. Some of them are good, but not that good. You take your pick, right? Take it with a grain of salt. It is what it is. I'm not here to promote nor uh, uh, talk somebody out of dealing with a psychic. Or, that's not my intention. I'm not promoting um, psychic readings either. I'm just saying. 2018, I used to talk to psychics. And I would ask questions, and they would tell me, because like I said, I was interested in her and I thought her, her boyfriend was abusive. Because they always say he's from a distance watching the house. He's watching the house from a distance. See, I never knew that they were really literally watching the house. I was to be like, what, the, what does that mean? I don't know. I never paid much attention to it. But then they said, like he's stalking her. He's doing all kinds of things to her. He watches her through some glass. He's doing things. I don't know what he's doing. But it wasn't th them him doing it to her, it was them doing it either to me. I don't think it was me at that time, but someone else. See, it to kill me. Now, if all these things were false, why does it seem like that's exactly what's happening to me now? Did they just record all of them and decided to make a movie? To entertain each other? Her? Uh, what are they doing? What does this mean? Are they, are they making a movie, like one of those uh, 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 stalker movies? Because she would, she's definitely, you know, up for the role, it seems, as a stalker. Maybe she's getting into gear. I don't know, and using live victims as practice. Me being one of them. Because I, I don't understand what this is. I don't know. But I know it's not good, and it's killing me, because the gassing, the gas is up the wazoo. This, this odorless gas, every fucking breath I take. My cat goes outside. She'll take some grass. She'll eat some grass. She comes back in about two minutes later. She's confused. It's like she, she's con outside. She gets that blast of fresh air. She refreshes, and as soon as she walks back in the house, she looks confused. It's not my imagination. There's one energy in here that's filled with all kinds of chemicals and drugs to keep in this altered, altered state, this altered state, groggy. Their aces are drugging people against their will. This is why I would love to get this connecting with his face or her face just for doing this shit to me, man.
I am not a fucking drug addict. Don't fucking do this to me. I'm a grown ass woman. This is so like disrespectful from one human being to another. And like there is for these for this couple, like there, there is no repercussions here. This is not fair. All over. But these two, they have shitloads of money. Where they got it from, I don't know. If it was their money, their inheritance, or they earned it, or they won it, or they it fell into their laps, they wouldn't spend that fucking with me. They would be spending it buying things for themselves. The mere fact that they're doing this to me tells me in some way that money has to be connected to me. It has to be. Because even if they were live streaming me, let's go out on that limb. They were live streaming me for whatever the fucking reason. I don't know. And somebody paid them. This, why would they come after me like this? I didn't know. That's the whole point. They would have gone. Why are they still doing this? I was talking to psychics all along. They were hacking me. They knew. I started recording the psychic sessions when I would talk to people and send it to her. Right then, right then, she could have cut me down. This was since 2019. Nip it in the bud. Right there. That was her face in the hole. That was her holy grail to stop it if it was a, you know, it was cramping their style. Or the psychics were telling me too much of what they were doing to other people. To shut me down. Say, well, look, I don't appreciate you this anymore. Or I'll file a harassment suit against you. This is me warning you. My boyfriend doesn't appreciate this. He hates psychic. I don't know what he will do. He's thinking of filing a lawsuit. I would have stopped. But that was too much for them to do. It was way too much for that couple to do. Because they had other plans. Her plans and they wanted to use those psychic reasons to make it seem well that's what it no you don't know the half of what those psychics were telling me about them now I'm beginning to see all of it were true was true so imagine this now imagine her she's the one who's doing this he wants to get her in gear have them to talk have the psychics talk have the psychics these are good good psychics they're picking up a lot of things that they were doing to other people that they were, because I'm sure in a, in, a, in a span of a few years, a lot of shit happened, right? They were busy little bees, the two of them. So, get her into gear. Get her all pumped up. Make her feel like she's going to be locked away for life. Make her feel she'll be one of the hated, most hated women in the world. Make her feel that, you know, she will be taken away from them. Because somebody, I'm sorry, but people who do this, there's something really wrong with them. This is not normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. It's not. It's really not normal behavior. It's wrong here. Pump her up, get her into the mode, get her into the in, in into the into whatever, you know, and then sick her like a pit bull on me. That was what the, the grand plan was. And she, no matter how many times she's done, she's been through the same spiel, the whole kitten caboodle with different, various other people, where she allowed herself to go through it again. Because after all, I'm just another person with whatever, something they needed from me. Since I don't know them, like I said, I didn't know what crimes, other crimes they committed. All they could, they had, they could have stopped this since then. It would have been done. But I noticed something. Shortly after... The, the first reading, which was on my birthday, September 22nd, uh, in 2019. I sent it to her on my birthday, the, record, uh, the first recording of the psychic reading. It was like at the end, within then and the end of the same month, she disappeared into her house. Disappeared into her house. So I don't know. I don't know if that had any bearing on it. I don't know what, what they want to say. If they have a lawsuit, then come at me. There's nothing for them to get. I don't have anything. They want my website? They will say that that was their goal all along. Because I don't understand this. I don't know what she wants. 
They want the website here, take it, but you can't have anything else. I was doing the psychic readings while I lived, while, while, while she did, we were neighbors. We were, no, we were no longer as neighbors for the last two years now. I moved out June 2020. Anything I made after then, well, she has no, she has no claim to it. I did it on my own. And if she wanted to file a harassment suit for those, um, those readings that I was sending to her, she, she, two things, she could have stopped them and she could have filed a harassment suit while I was there. Nobody, nobody got, delivered any papers to me. Nobody said anything. I mean, I don't know where this is going. I don't know. I, I'm trying to find, rack my brain to see what the hell this is. I don't know. I've never seen anybody file harassment suits for somebody doing a psychic reading. I don't know. I lived alone in the back of a yard. I don't know anybody because the place was mostly Spanish-speaking people. I don't know anyone. I had one friend who used to come like two, once or twice a month, and that was it. She used to take me um, gro um, grocery shopping and to do my laundry. used to go sit down in the neighbor's house and chit chat or anything like that no nothing like that hi and, and we speak and we would speak in the yard where everybody could hear us we never piled up in a hole somewhere you know talking so i don't know i don't i still i'm trying to figure out what the, what could this be about i don't know i do know that i'm missing things that i'm missing things and they seem, she just can't seem to stop tormenting me, and I don't know why. I mean, what's the end result? What's she hoping to get? I don't know. What's she hoping to get? What, what, what is it? I don't have anything. You see where I live? I don't, I don't have anything. I don't have anything because my, my, my website is, is, is bullshit. I mean, they're hacking people. My website can, it can make in with a little bit of effort about 150000 a year, one website. But, people all over. I don't think that they're sitting down and, and, and consulting with clients and spending time to, to talk to clients and help them. That's not what they're doing. Let's say that she feels she's entitled just because I was doing some psychic reading. Now, if you look at them, they're entitled to what you have. This part, I cannot stand. Kind of people, if you look at them, you owe them money now. You look at them like you, you, you don't like them for some reason, you owe them, big time you owe them. I can't stand it. This is what it's appearing to me. They will come. Anybody they know have something because they hack people, they hack with the intention to get themselves offended, especially if they and then they help themselves to what the people have, feeling what the people owe them now. I don't understand this. I don't understand it. I don't understand how people can be this cruel. I don't understand it. That's just crazy to the max. And I thought her boyfriend was abusive. She could have told me this. That's, that's not true any old time, and she never did. She would have set me straight, and she never did. To jump from that to do this, no, something is wrong. Somebody killed, somebody killed people for a website? Is it possible that they would kill me, torture me for a website? I don't know, tell me what you think, because I'm lost. I don't know what else to do. And I'm afraid to go disappear with my cat into, the, you know, the, 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 the grounds or something, the, uh, the forest or the jungle. Because I'm afraid they'll send somebody in there to kill me. I'm afraid they will. Because I'm pretty sure that's what they want. I don't know what to do.